Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we are working on the pizza app, right? So before proceeding further into the project, so let's try to learn some of the rules of the JSX. Why? Because the JSX syntax, whoever is coming new to the React or whoever is coming from another framework, they will be finding little bit of difficulty, not difficulty, strange of uh, writing the HTML in the JavaScript code. So normally we are not writing the HTML code in the JavaScript. So it is called as in some kind of JSX syntax. So what are the rules and uh, the, for, for writing the JSX things? Let's try to see in this video. Many beginners get quite confused when they start using JSX in their own code. So that is the thing which I have, which I want to explain you before proceeding into this one. So beginners, when they are trying to learn about the React and all those things, they may get confused. Even though I will also, I am also get confused that writing HTML in the JavaScript, how can, how could it, this could be possible? But actually we are not writing the HTML, we are writing the JSX thing. In fact, JSX can be a trick to understand. Let's quickly check out the rules of how JSX works. There are some general JSX rules and difference between JSX and HTML. So I want to tell you some of the rules of the JSX and also the difference between the JSX and also the HTML. JSX works essentially just like the HTML. So it has a very similar syntax. So JSX works, uh, JSX and HTML, HTML looks quite similar, but they are not uh, equal. So they work essentially just like the HTML only. They have similar syntax. We can enter JavaScript mode by using curly braces. Whenever you want to write a JavaScript code inside the JSX means, then you need to use a single curly braces like that. Anywhere in the markup, where a value like text or an attribute is expected. In this JavaScript mode, we can place any JavaScript expression, anything that produces a value. So you can write anything in that one which produces a value. So we can reference variables, create arrays or objects. We can also loop over an array using the map method. So here you try to understand it very carefully. So any JavaScript expression or any JavaScript we can do, we can use it in the curly braces in the JavaScript mode, but it, it needs to produce a value. It can be anything. So like reference variables, arrays, objects or anything. We can also loop over array using the map method. We can also use operators like ternary operator. So this ternary operator also you can use inside the JSX thing. JSX cannot use statements like if else statement, for loop, a switch or any other statement. So it will not use these type of things. If else statements, for loop, for looping over, a switch statement like this, the JSX it will not accept it. It is also important to know that a piece of JSX produces a JavaScript expression. So here, this is the thing. So whenever you are right, trying to write H1 hello world means actually in behind the hood or behind the code, so it will be, it will be converted into something like react dot create element H1 null hello world. So that is, this is how it will be converted. So don't think that this is a regular HTML. When you are trying to write H1 hello world like that, it is not a regular HTML. It is a J6 code, which in return, it will be converted into like that. We can also write JSX anywhere inside a component. So inside a component, we can write it anywhere you want. We'll try to see further more in the upcoming videos, but I will try to show you, I am trying to show you. So there you can use if else assign to variables, pass it to into your functions like this. You can use it. You can, you can, you can assign it to a variable, the JSX in the JSX code and all those things. And you can use if else statement inside the if else statements, you can use the JSX code and you can pass it to another functions like that. Also, you can do it. A piece of JSX can only have one root element. So this is the main important thing you need to understand. Like view two, which has a run root element in the template. Now view three doesn't need to have one root element. So in the same scenario, JSX also, it has, it accepts only one root. So basically one parent element. If you need more than that means when you need to return two elements from a component, you can use react fragment, which we'll try to see in the later courses. So only one parent element should be there. If you need more than one, that one, you need to return two elements in a, from a function or from a component means, then we need to use the react.fragment, which we'll try to use it. Now we understood about the rules of the JSX thing. So first one is it needs to have one root element and you can write anywhere the JSX code. And you need to understand that whenever you're writing HTML under the hood, it will be converted into a uh, method. And you cannot use the if else statements for loop or switch statement, anything you cannot use it. You can use a ternary operator 
or you can loop over the array using the map method not the for loop method so these are the things which you can uh, understand these are the rules of the jsx thing okay so now let's try to see the difference between a jsx and a regular html so we need to use the class name class name should be used instead of html class so why because class is a reserved keyword so this is a javascript code right so class name should be used instead of the class and html for is used instead of for attribute so whenever you are trying to write a label and an input element so the id will be represented why will be represented for the label using the for so here we need to use html for instead of for every tag needs to be closed example img tag like that every tag must and should it needs to be closed whereas in the html if you don't close it the chrome automatically understand the browser it will try to close it so whereas here we need to close it all event handlers and other properties need to be camel cased so here now normally in our thing what we will try to do we will not use the camel case letter right on click like that here we need to use in jsx on click and on mouse over like this it needs to be camel cased so this is also one of the important thing you need to understand so uh, and there is uh, some exceptions like area uh, hyphen and data hyphen these things you can use it uh, with the dashes only just like the html so this is one of the ex exception which i want to try to tell you so these are generally the rules which uh, uh, sorry oh sorry these are some of the rules i am trying to tell you oh, where where we are area hyphen data hyphen are written in dashes like html now another thing which i want to tell you is css inline styles are written like this style so object will be using so i already explained you in the previous video how we will be writing the css inline styles using the style we can reference all the styles as an object to a variable and yet with that object you can use it here css property names are also camel cased so if you try to see text transform font size font weight these all the things should be camel cased so this is also one of the uh, difference which you will be able to find uh, with the jsx and also with the html and the last one which i want to tell you the difference between comment html is comments comments need to be in uh, single bar. why because comments are uh, belongs to the javascript right so when you are trying to reference with the javascript so the comments will be in the single brace so i already told you that uh, whatever the jsx mode is javascript mode if you want to enter in the jsx template means you need to have a single curly braces so that is the reason comments is also but comments also doesn't uh, does belongs to the javascript so that is the reason you need to comment out using the single brace so these are the, all the difference between what i can say is uh, uh, html and the jsx what is the difference is so one thing is which i can say class name which is very important which you will be able to see all the time and the tag tag il tag every tag needs to be closed and here you will be able to see the another one is event listeners whenever you are trying to write the event listeners on click on mouse over these all things should be cam camel cased and inline styles you already know the style should be represented as an object and the comments should be uh, enclosed in a single brace like this so these are all the difference are general rules and the difference between html and the jsx when uh, before proceeding into the project i want to mm, i want to tell you about these things which are uh, new quite, quite new to the beginners hope you understood about these rules of the jsx thing if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you